On February 20th, 2013, many people's lives were affected by this landslide. ADOT set out on a three-pronged approach to restore traffic in the area. Step one was to restore emergency access and begin the initial geotechnical work. The second part was to pave the N20 detour. And now we've begun the final repair of the US-89. In order to realign the roadway 60 foot to the east, we need to excavate the existing slope. The most important part is get it fractured into a size where we can get it to lock together in the buttress. We'll take the excavation from the hillside, transport it down in off-road rock trucks, and place it in the buttress consisting mainly of the rock material from the excavation. The amount of material that needs to be moved on this project is enormous. We have approximately a million cubic yards of rock to excavate from the mountain. It'll be drills working on top, excavators loading trucks, trucks going up and down the hill, placing it in the buttress, and basically the hill is going to go down and the buttress is going to come up. Until that point, we could have more movement, and with all the activity that's going on there, it triggered some movement of the slide. It's that same mass that just decided to move just a little bit further down the hill. It's nothing that we can't control by getting that buttress put in place. That's when we think the slide will lock itself into that buttress, and then we can shift the road over and build it on its new alignment. This project is very important to those communities that weren't able to benefit from the N20 detour and we need to restore mobility to this area and US 89 is a critical link to that mobility.